English is the bastard child of all languages. And I'm going to propose something that I haven't heard anyone else say, but um, here goes. So uh, Sanskrit, Hebrew, and Aramaic were primordial languages. So it's interesting. Our Judeo-Christian Bible says, in the beginning was the word, right? But where did these words come from? So there's probably books on this. I haven't seen them, but there was a time when like we were like uh, babies or cats or bears and we had sounds and we would use those before words to signify. And primordial, uh, like coming from the earth, coming from the ocean, those sounds, this is why in yoga we chant and it resonates through the body because your body makes sounds and your body resonates with sounds. But English is completely detached from that. There's this beautiful quote by uh, Sir Ken Robinson in his TED talk. And he says, in America, we primarily think of our body as transportation mechanisms for our heads. So we live in our heads and we live in language, but entertain the possibility that it's a cage. And, uh, you know, uh, there's a beautiful song by Peter Gabriel off of um, his second album. He says, um, I, I talk in pictures, not in words, right? So there are other languages. You just happen to live in one that's obsessed with verbal and written language. And now, you know, we're on TikTok and we're scrolling and we have these images, but it's still language. And my understanding is that language estranges us from reality. There's a reality. And then once you put it into words, it's different. So going back to these primordial languages means that you feel the sounds in your body. And that's why um, it's really important to um, understand how language works and to be impeccable with your diction.